Hi, and welcome to the 2015 Monterey Park Play Days Parade. My name's Roberta Villa, and we're jumping right in, Dina. You want to introduce yourself? Of course. Hi, guys. I'm Dina Dalzell, back again. Thank you for having me. Jumping, first of all, we have the Monterey Park um, Color Guard and the Monterey Park Police Explorer Post 300, which is directed by Officer Gary Sims under the command of Police Chief Smith. The Police Explorer Program is a career education program and part of the Learning for Life Development of Boy Scouts of America. Um, being an explorer is fun and an interesting way of pre preparing our youth for the future by getting them involved in the community. The training will be a valuable resource they can use throughout their lives whether or not they choose a career in law enforcement. And now one of our favorites is already coming up here on uh, Garvey Avenue where we are every year. It's the Northern Shaolin Lion and Dragon Dance Team. The Northern Shaolin Kung Fu Association Lion and Dragon Dance Team was established 40 years ago. Uh, chief instructor is Director Ken Wee. Northern Shaolin participates in many cultural and special events throughout the year. The team is dressed in colorful lion and dragon costumes and traditional kung fu uniforms. The NS, they teach Chinese martial arts throughout Southern California to promote and preserve the Asian color. And here they are performing for the judges once again this year. They're always a crowd pleaser, a good way to start the parade off. I'm so glad the rain um, held up for a few hours so we can have our parade today. That's right. I think this is the first year that we're not in uh, a really real, yeah, it's heat. It's a beautiful day. A little bit gray, but nice. And now our elected officials are coming down the street. Up next, we have Mayor Han Liang. Mayor Liang was selected to the office in 2013, and he's proudly serving his first term on city council. He graduated from UC Irvine with a BA in Scientology and a minor in Psychology in 1991. His education continued as he graduated from USC Delinquency Control Institute in 2006. As a board member for the Asian Youth Center, Hans has conducted numerous training for staff as well as parents on topics such as gang awareness, community uh, communication skills, adolescent development, and research-based innovations. Um, in addition, Hans set up AYC's first digital music program where youth in the community can learn about music production and have the opportunity to produce their own songs. Hans continues to work with schools, youth, in the community, and his wife, Lonnie, are looking forward to a long, bright future here in the great city of Monterey Park. And again, we have a parade of cars that they never give us a list of because I would love to be cruising down the street in that convertible. And now what do we have here? It's Mayor Pro Tem Peter Chan. This is his first term as a councilman, having been elected in 2013, but he's lived in Monterey Park since the 1970s. He is the president of an import-export business, and in his spare time, he volunteers as a referee for the AYSO. Looks like he's traveling down the street with his lovely wife. So right here, we stop right in front of the post office. There is a, a live... Uh, Ladies commentary from the, uh, the judges the on the side the and Best some of the participants are being judged and then the we'll end up at uh, Barnes Park for a beautiful the carnival. Director, Director, Dr. Carla Bartlett, 
It looks like we're joined next by one of our favorites, um, the Mark Apple High School from Alhambra. California's up the street here, and they're joining us with their pageantry corps and um, marching band. And like Roberta just said, they're preparing their um, performance for the judges, and any marching bands participating in, in today's parade will be judged and um, participate in an award ceremony later today. So good luck to Mark Apple. The band is under the leadership of band director, Dr. Carla Barlett, drum major, Lauren Fukushima, assistant drum major, Lauren Chin, color guard captains, Hila Osugi and Mindy Huynh, and drill team captains, Diana Trant and Brenda, or Branda Tolentino. The band and color guard place first at both the 2014 Peninsula Parade of Lights and the 2014 Monterey Park Play Days Parade. So good luck. I like this a lot. You like their glasses? I love it. <laughs> nice style, Monica. Yeah, we, we liked our glasses. Exactly. <laughs> That's so fun. I love that. Yeah, they're, Mark the, Apple. they're the coolest. <laughs> Now the drill team. All right, Mark Kappel. And now look who we have here, Councilman Mitchell Ng. And he was first elected to office as the city treasurer before joining the city council in 2007. He is currently serving his third term, during which time he has twice served as the mayor. He's a vice president and manager for Citizens Bank in San Gabriel, and for the past nine years he has been a member of the Pasadena Tournament of Roses Parade and he serves on the foundation board. He's a very busy guy, Micheline, and uh, a really good advocate for Monterey Park and all the citizens, and he's joined today by his wife, Gloria, a senior attorney for Southern California Edison. And there we are, right in front, we can see our post office, our Monterey Park post office. Up next, it looks like we're joined by the Monterey Park Cub Scout Pack 329, which is led by Cub Master Dolores Estrada and Assistant Club Master Nicole Sandoval. Today, they are wearing blue Class A uniforms. Hi, guys. They're waving hi to the judges and all the people that came out here on Garvey Avenue in Monterey Park to enjoy the parade and celebrate the 99th um, year of the city here. We're so happy that we're just one year away from celebrating our 100 years. Amazing 100 years. Oh, they have balloons. I love all the youth activities that uh, all of our kids can participate in and the parents support. We have a really good crowd here today. A lot of uh, citizens out watching the parade, a real hometown feeling, that's Monterey Park. And now we have a big sign, I love Monterey Park. And this is Teresa Real Sebastian, council member. And you know, she believes in uh, being green and practicing what she preaches, so she does not come down a car during the parade. 
She is in her second term in office, having been elected in 2011 and re-elected in 2015. Her former roots in Monterey Park can be traced back to the 1970s. She's an accomplished attorney, a businesswoman, and founder of the Beautify Monterey Park program, where she teams up with community and staff to beautify the city. So far, they have beautified 10 areas, but have many more projects in the works. To promote healthy living and green practices, Teresa has walked the parade, just like she is now, every year since she has been a part of the Monterey Park Ladies Parade, and Armand Sebastian is walking with her today. She has invited family, friends, and members of the community to walk with her as we celebrate Monterey Park's 99th birthday. All right, up next is one of our first dance groups. This is the Kingsley Dance Academy, which was founded in 2014 by Dr. Simon Kingsley. This is our first public performance, and they are very proud and excited to be a part of the Play Days Parade. The group is made up of staff, teachers, and volunteers from the Academy. Look at their beautiful, um, is this flamenco, right? Flamenco outfits. Oh, it is beautiful. Oh, I was hoping they were going to stop and dance for us. Their colors are so nice on this uh, gray day. It brightens everything up. I think it's their first time, Dina, don't you? That's right, it is their first time. You know, I've been hosting the parade for like 20 years, so we kind of know who's been here and who hasn't been here. Exactly. And now we have Council Member Stephen Lamb, and he was first elected to the Monterey Park City Council on March 3, 2015. He started his career as a banker, and after years of experience in mortgage and commercial lending, he started up his own financial and real estate firm at the age of 26. With all these businesses, uh, I'm sure he can help Monterey Park out with its budget. One of his business success is the Coco Collection clothing store on Garvey Avenue, where it has been a fixture in the community for more than 25 years. He's a leader and a city activist. He's committed and he's dedicated, and he wants to lend his time and business financial experience to the city of Monterey Park. And he's been appointed to a variety of city commissions over the last 10 years, so people at home may be recognizing him. He's also the president of the Monterey Park Lions Club, a former planning commissioner. And as part of his campaign promise, Councilmember Lamb will be donating his entire city salary towards scholarships for Monterey Park schools, which will help fund future leadership development programs. That is amazing and wonderful and fantastic. And he's married to Jenny Lamb, and they have three children. And so welcome to the Monterey Park Play Days Parade. It also looks, uh, I, I wish we knew the name of the other guest with him. All honorary guests in our parade, we welcome them. Hi there. Hi. And hi, now a formal welcome to the Monterey Park Play Days Parade. I'm Roberta Villa. Hi, Daddy. And with me again this year is Dina. Hi, guys. I'm Dina Delzell. Thanks again for having us here. We're so happy to be a part of the parade. It's our 99th birthday. It's not our 99th parade, but it's our 99th birthday. But it does feel like we've been doing this for 99 years. But we love it. We, Every year. There's something new. We do. We do. It's fun to, once a year to come out and see all the Monterey Park residents and all the activities and programs we have in the city and all the people who help contribute and all of the guests that come down. That's right. We have favorites, and I think we do have somebody coming down the street right now. We do. One of my, uh, my favorites, actually, we have the Rio Hondo um, Preparatory School Band, and they come from, to us from Arcadia, California. Um, they are a marching band and drill team. They offer dynamic college preparatory education featuring athletics and arts for all. Marching band and drill team is just one of the fun and exciting activities students can enjoy. They are under the direction of Dr. Can Dan Kirby, Miss Lindy Joe, drum major Jesse Murphy. The band and auxiliary units have won many awards and parades through Southern, Cal uh, Southern California, including right here in Monterey Park. For your enjoyment, the band is playing On the Street by Ted Massang. Let's hear it for Rio Hondo Prep. And now we have another new exciting uh, project that I've never seen before. It's a tutor and mentor program, Project NEO. Mary Wong is the founder of Project NEO. It's a nonprofit organization providing at-risk youth with free after-school tutoring services and mentors and youth of all ages in the development of their leadership skills and personal growth. 
Mary is joined by her Project NEO staff and looks like some kids from the program and the students and volunteers from Ripeto Elementary, Margarita Elementary, Mark Keppel High School, Ramona Convent, where I win for three years, Don Bosco Tack, East LA College went there too, Cal State LA. Come by and see them in their mascot duck at the Rubber Duck Race and Duck Design Contest at East Los Angeles College. That will actually be after uh, when this parade broadcasts. And it looks like Mary is in a fun little Volkswagen bug with the big yellow duck on top. Come on, now that's adorable. That's so cute, I love that. You know that as the founder of the program, she's gotta have a fun personality because that's adorable. Love that, so cute. Okay, now I'm not sure if this man that just rode the bike is in the parade. Dina, what do you think? I think he might be uh, City Clerk Vincent <laughs> Chang. Let's see. Let's see when he does another uh, circle around. C certainly looks like that. Um, let's see. He was born in Ecuador to parents from China, but he has been a resident of Los Angeles County since he was six years old. Vincent moved to Alhambra in 1997 or sorry, 1977, where he graduated from Alhambra High School before relocating to the city of Monterey Park in 1985. Um, he is a licensed attorney with the State Bar of California and a, a Central District Court of California trained mediator and arbitrator. Vincent graduated from Cal State Los Angeles with a Bachelor in Science, Bachelor of Science in, in Business Administration, and holds um, a doctorate from Western State University. Oh, wow. This is so exciting for me. We have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the parade. That is so much fun. That this was is the first. That was my son's favorite, favorite cartoon uh, besides, I think it was He-Man. And my son's now 30, so that's how long Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has been around. And it's a really fun van from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this is a full-scale, street-legal rep representation of the van from the cartoon series, and it is owned and driven by Jason Ibarra. He must also be a big fan of the, of the cartoon. Trying to remember all the names. Uh, I got Raphael, but I'm a little stuck on... Leonardo. Leonardo, that's right. <laughs> Later, dudes. <laughs> Bye. Well, that was fun. So cute. All right, we got a, we've got a cool car coming down. I wish I could see who was inside, but it looks like the Knight Rider car. It does. It looks like the Knight Rider car. That's right. Um, it is. I think it's Kit from TV's Knight Rider. Kit has been refitted with new upgrades for future crime fighting with the SCA. Driven and signed by David Hasselhoff and other cast members, it features rare Crossfire engine and is an original black and tan 1983 T-top Trans Am. With new 10-inch touchscreen that interfaces with smartphones, this kit is up to date, including a wrist remote watch to activate him. Kit is driven and owned by Nate Truman. Welcome, Nate. And right now we are looking at Madrid Middle School Band. Since 1992, the Ma Madrid Middle School Marching Band has been made up of members from the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. So this is a younger band that we're seeing today. And most have been playing their instruments for only two years. In their colors of burgundy, gray, and white, the Bulldogs have performed throughout Southern California this year. They are led by band director Nancy Atilano, auxiliary director Mitch Rodriguez, and drum majors Karen Hernandez and James Liu. They are performing Military Escort by Harold Bennett, which features an introduction from the trumpet section.
I think the great thing about this parade, or at least one of the great things, is that it brings together uh, marching bands from all around the city. San Gabriel Valley, we have people from Alhambra and students from Rosemead and Monterey Park, and it's just nice to see everyone coming together to celebrate the 99th year of the city. Now this is really exciting for me, Dina. I think I'm going to take this one because that's my uncle there. The uncle that used to come over to my grandma's house because he was her brother. Always happy, always joking, probably the most lively man of the family. And I was so shocked when I learned that he had actually been a, a PO war from World War II. So I want to officially welcome Grand Marshal William Sanchez, a former U.S. Army Sergeant, World War II veteran, and POW. He listed in the Army in September of 1940. He chose to go to an outpost in the Philippines because the then 22-year-old, who had a scholarship to UCLA, said he was looking for excitement and wanted a short tour so he could start his undergraduate studies. But he, he sure took a de detour. And now I know why my family uh, are UCLA fans all these years, by the way. His whole division was captured on May 6, 1942, after keeping the Japanese at bay for five months. And after nearly four years, as a prisoner of war at Jap Japan's Camp Amori, he was freed. Hi, Uncle Willie. Oh, and those are his sons and my cousins in the car with him. David and Danny Sanchez. Well, that was really fun. That's so cute, so sweet. I'm glad he was part of the parade. Me too. All right, up next, it looks like we have American Legion Post 397. Um, and the post is a veteran helping veteran nonprofit organization and it's been a part of the Monterey Park community since 1931. Members participate in many community events as well as sponsor an upcoming Memorial Day and Veterans Day events within the city. Now we have a little uh, little break with some people crossing through the parade because all traffic is blocked off right here. And we have someone else coming in another really fancy little car, old-fashioned car that I'd love to take a, a drive in. PO, POW is missing in action. representing POWs missing in action. Very representative since uh, my Uncle Willie was a prisoner of war and I, I imagine all these people are reminding us of uh, the sacrifices that people have made for the country. Thank you so much for being here. And we also have another honoree today. Who is it, Dina? This is Honorary Grand Marshal Francisco Alonso, and Francisco is a longtime resident and volunteer in the city of Monterey Park. He graduated from Don Bosco High School and Cal State Los Angeles. The former mayor of Monterey Park served on city council for nine years and is a former library board trustee. So nice to have Francisco as an honorary Grand Marshal. And he's riding in a red Thunderbird, which is nice. <laughs> Another car I'd like to take a drive in. And again, there is our uh, post office where people stop and get ready to perform for the judges. And it looks to me like we have visitors from Chino. 
This is the Northwest Chino Youth Band. The Northwest Chino Youth Band is comprised of members from the Chino Valley Unified School District. They are under the direction of Chris Jackson and Matt Robertson. And today they are performing the Washington Post March by John Philip Souza. I think they're new to the parade. We have a really great parade lineup this year. What a beautiful color guard. Did you see those flags go up? And I, I'm, I'm telling you, today with the gray weather, it's nice to see all these bright colors out between the flamenco dancers and the color guards and the flags. The Chino Conquistadors. Probably one of my favorite iconic marching band songs too, right? How can you not tap your feet to the song? That's right. Looks like we've got a couple of horses coming down the block here. Are these the Sea Star Pleasure Riders, perhaps? I'm not sure, but they have a, a burro or a donkey. A burro or a donkey. I feel bad. I just love the horses. It looks like this might be the Sea Star Pleasure Riders from Whittier, California. The Sea Star is a family and fun-oriented group. Riding today is daughter Lindsay wearing her fancy Western costume. Mom Pat is wearing her working Western costume. And son, uh, son David is wearing his Indian costume. They would like to wish everyone a safe and wonderful weekend. Up next, we've got another um, Monterey Park School, right? Brightwood, yeah. Monterey Park um, Brightwood School History and Motion Entry, which is a new one for us, and we're really excited about this entry. It uh, depicts the importance of the first transcontinental railroad in the United States. Built between 1863 and 1869, the transcontinental railroad connected the U.S., Atlantic, and Pacific Coast by railway for the first time. Um, Brightwood School honors the innovators who sought to connect both halves of the country, the workers who toiled endlessly to make the Transcontinental Railroad a reality, and many adventurers who made their way westward to seek their fortunes and destinies. In their own way, each one was a hero in settling of the America, the Wild Wild West. This group is led by Principal Natalie T. Gautier and parent coordinators Mio Hernandez and Angela Villarreal. We're excited to see this. So they're basically taking a historical event and bringing it to life through... Um, their costumes, through their movements, and through their actions, and it's almost like seeing a, a little part of history walking down the boulevard here on, um, on Garvey, right? They're adorable. <laughs> They're so cute. We've got a couple of pilgrims. Hello. So cute. Brightwood uh, Elementary is a fantastic, wonderful school. I'm so proud my daughter went there, and you know she's going to be graduating wow. um, this year from uh, college. Oh, good. And, and Brightwood gave her that great foundation. And now we have a great guy coming down the parade, and let's welcome Police Chief Jim Smith. And with him is Fire Chief Scott Haberlei. The Monterey Park Police Department is a full-service police agency with 72 sworn officers and 46 civilian personnel. They represent a diverse workforce that is supported by over 100 community volunteers because they have police reserves, emergency communications, citizens patrol, explorer programs, and other civilian volunteers. And I love that in the parade today, they're representing the police and the fire working together. And you know, Jimmy Smith was always a great guy. I think he did one of the first cable shows that I That's ever right. did. He was, he's, he's really, really down to earth and nice and very concerned about the community and, uh, and the police department. 
They continually seek the community's input and assistance through programs such as Neighborhood Watch, Business Watch. That's right. You. That's right. <laughs> he hired both of us, he's saying, right? <laughs> Actually, he didn't. He Back and I came day. up together, and then look at him. Now he's the chief. And the fire department has been serving the community with fire protection, hazardous materials response, disaster preparedness, and emergency medical services for several decades. We have a fun little mascot on top of one of our fire trucks. And um, our chief is very proud of the men and women who strive each day to save lives and product, protect property as well as promote disaster preparedness and teach fire safety to children and adults alike. In honor of their commitment, he would like to invite everyone to come and meet their local firefighters on May 30th. This is also an opportunity for you and your family to learn about CPR, disaster, preparedness, how to be safe in your home, and even sign up to become a member of the Paramedic Ambulance Subscription Program. You know, that's a great, great program that's offered here in Monterey Park. I think it's like $35, you know, $40, maybe $50. I'm not really sure the amount, but that's that's all you have to pay. And uh, if you ever need ambulance service, uh, you're covered. It's really nice. Up next, it looks like we have um, a color guard unit. It's the North Valley uh, Military Institute. Please welcome them to the Monterey Park Ladies Parade. They're coming all the way from Granada Hills, California. So I think this might be a first time entry as well. I don't remember seeing them, but I'm enjoying their um, shiny silver um, hats. I'm sure there's a more technical name for them, but that's all I can think <laughs> of at the moment. The North Valley Mil Military Institute began in July 2013 as a first public military charter school in Los Angeles Unified School District. They modeled after the highly successful Oakland Military Institute. The school serves 400 students from grades 6 to 12 who want a, who want a rigorous college preparatory environment and promotes leadership, citizenship, patriotism, academic excellence, and fitness. Today, the NVMI has brought its color guard, drumline, a marching unit, and both armed and unarmed drill teams. They are, they are under the direction of Dr. Mark Ryan. The school also boasts a 95% college acceptance rate and has partnerships with the United States Coast Guard Academy and the United States Military Academy at West Point, also the United States Naval Academy at Annapolis. That's quite impressive, 95%. It sure is. At the Play Days Parade, we see the range of activities that our young people can be involved in, keep them busy, keep them motivated, give them career exploration. see all the people that are here today. This, this is one of the largest uh, groups of um, spectators on the parade route that we've had in a while. I guess the, the crowd prefers the overcast skies versus <laughs> the 90 plus degree heat we've had for the last couple of years. But you know, LA needs the rain, so we're not complaining, That's right? right, we need the rain. <laughs> that would have been a first though, doing the parade in, in rainy weather. Right. So I'm glad it took the skies took a break. saluting the judges as they move forward to the next phase of the parade. And then as Roberta said, we end at Barnes Park where you can enjoy fun and activities and games and food for your families. And it's going on, I believe, through tomorrow. Is that right? Through Sunday? Through the weekend. That's right. But by the time they broadcast the parade, oh, that's I, think, right. I think the carnival is over. But uh, You mean we're not live? <laughs> no, we're not live. But the people, wa the people watching the parade at home probably uh, you're going to say I was at the Play Days Carnival. That's right. Because we, we have that hometown feeling, Dina. That's what the city of Monterey Park is all about. Safe, safe place to grow up and a safe place to raise your family. This looks like the tail end of the North Valley Military Institute. It looks like the um, drum line. I've always wanted to be a percussionist. You know, it's a talent that is I think really hard to master. <laughs> I think you just have you just have either have it or you don't, and I just don't. Oh, too bad. You could have practiced all year, and then <laughs> maybe next year. And then year been I'll in, be the, in parade the parade next year, and I'll be waving to you.
they're good. We always know when a when a performer is great because we start tapping our feet under the table here. That's right. Job. I liked that a lot. Yeah, they were good. And now we have the Montebello Unified School District board members. We want to welcome them to the Monterey Park Play Days Parade. Edgar Cisneros is the board president. And he is a lifelong resident of Montebello, our neighbor city, and he's a proud product of the Montebello Unified Schools. As a board president of the third largest school district in Los Angeles County, Edgar is charged with establishing educational policy and ensuring fiscal responsibility within Montebello Unified. That can't be an easy task. And they serve 20,000 uh, transitional kindergarten through 12th grade students at 30 schools. Also here today is board member David Bella. Somewhere in that mix, but uh, I also see some family members joining Edgar. That's probably Edgar's family. And it looks like they get to ride in a, a bit of a more modern car. They get a, a red Mustang. A red Mustang. Still fun. <laughs> Still exciting. Oh. Oh, just uh, kidding. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we're not car aficionados. We just love the car. We were attracted it's to the Camaro. red. The, it's a Camaro, I think. You know, I feel like I was close. <laughs> Sweet. I'm glad he brought his family out and his kids to enjoy the day. And we're going to be taking a short break for the Play Days Parade. Come right back. Hi, and welcome back. Happy birthday, Monterey Park, and hello, family and friends of Monterey Park. This is Roberta Villa, and I'm joined by Dina. Hi, guys. Thanks for having us. And we're going right into another marching band here, the Crans Intermediate School Cougar Band. Tall flags and drill team, they hail from nearby El Monte, California. 76 members strong, these 7th and 8th graders proudly represent Charles T. Crans Intermediate School and the Mountain View School District. The band is under the direction of Mr. Jim Bynum. Bynum? Bynum? <laughs> Third time's the charm. This former teacher of the year has been teaching at Crans since 1990. Um, they are led by drum major Daniel Torres there and drill team captains Jackie and Natalie. The Cougars proudly wear their school colors of red, white, and blue. This group has won many awards in the past with over 100 coming in in just the last three years. Mitch, Mrs. Mitch Rodriguez leads the tall flags and drill team. Now 
Now, do you recognize uh, that vehicle come down the street? You know better than to ask me that at this point. <laughs> I got a Mustang wrong. <laughs> looks like, it looks to me like it's uh, some kind of a little Mercedes convertible. This is a test at this point. It's really a test. More importantly is who is in the vehicle. That's right. It looks like this is, let me just fast forward a couple of pages here so I can... Maybe the World Association of Ecuadorians Living Abroad. That's right, and they're represented here today by Queen of Club Ambato of Los Angeles and the symbolic mother, Mrs. Chuy Borja, Yolanda Viejas and of Cantares del, del Alma and def different organization members. Wow. Try to say that three times. <laughs> yeah, we're also new to the parade, so... I'll get that better next year, I That's promise. Right. We have another school coming up. St. Eugene's Catholic School, the Cougars. The St. Eugene Cougar cheer team was established during the 2013-2014 school year, so they are brand new and they're under the leadership of Roxanne Sims. Wearing their school colors of green and white, the squad consists of 10 girls ranging from kindergarten to sixth grade. You wouldn't know it. Sounds like 100 girls coming down the street. They are so full of energy and spunk, I can hear them. And the Cougars have already participated in other Southland events, including the Martin Luther King Parade, the Garden Grove Strawberry Festival Parade, and the Monterey Park Play Days Parade, where last year they took home first place, and I can see why. We have some competition. Mayher Montessori School. That's right, coming down Garvey Avenue here and cheering very loudly is the only accredited Montessori School in Monterey Park, Mayor Montessori School, and they have been serving local families for over 40 years, educating children from ages two and a half to 14 years. They are led by founder and executive director, John Page. Their director is Adela Munoz. Oh, we've even got some uh, four-legged friends joining in the parade today with the same fun green t-shirts. So fun. And they've got pom-poms. It seems like this is a family event for everyone, so we're so glad to have them out, cheering loudly, enjoying the beautiful day here and celebrating Monterey Park Play Days Parade. Oh boy. Look how cute they are. We have the Isis band and uh, who's ever holding the letters. They they have to be the youngest. They're just so adorable. So sweet. sweet. Yeah, let's welcome the Isis Band Color Guard and Drill Team from the city of Montebello, California. The group was founded in 2013 and draws members from Bell Gardens Elementary, Bella Vista Elementary, Garfield Elementary, La Merced Elementary, and Montebello Park Elementary. They are under the direction of Jaime Magallon and staff. The music instructors are Arturo Castro, Eric Guevara, and Amanda Lopez. Percussion is Danielle Alizalda, Victor Portillo, and Jesse Torres. The color guard instructor is Blanca Flores, and the drill team instructors are Carolina Rodriguez and Ruby Palomero. They want to thank the parents, the students, and the staff for their endless support and their dedication to their program. And that is what makes the program successful, when you have the parents and the teachers and the staff and everybody helping together.
martial artists um, getting ready to perform. I don't know if you would call it perform. Ooh, Any that's, practice? That's flipping. That's right. Awesome. They are the U.S. Kung Fu Center. Yan Ying Kung Fu Center provides training in traditional Chinese Shaolin Kung Fu utilizing modern martial art development model that relies on the belt system from white to black with nine levels and 16 steps. The individualized teaching system has clear goals at every level to help teach student master, to help each student master the method of Shaolin Kung Fu. So here we have one student, probably maybe an instructor, um, demonstrating some of the techniques and the moves and the overall intensity that goes into their uh, practice. Oh my goodness. Oh, that, he's amazing. Oh, look. Wow. Wow. And the crowd goes wild. That's great. I love that. Okay, maybe this is where break dancing actually originated from. And now we have a, a younger, younger member with a sword. And I think this performance speaks to the beauty of the parade and how it brings different cultures together because you can probably hear the next parade participant in the back and the music that's the ambient sound that's coming to uh, enhance this performance here, which is really, really fun, but also, you know, shows you the diversity of the city that we, we love and enjoy. He is amazing. I don't know how old he is, but he's already mastered some techniques that even adults can't get down. Wow, that was fantastic. That was great. You know, we have really stepped it up this year with performers and performances and people participating in the parade. It's just going to get better next year for our centennial. That's right. Hopefully, right, Roberta? Yeah, I think so. I think so. We might have to form our own little uh, marching band. I'll be percussion. <laughs> Maybe you can be trumpet. Tambourine. <laughs> Tambourine. Tambourine. Boys and girls performing their kung fu routine. This is great. Thank you, the U.S. Kung Fu Center. They were fantastic. Well, I do hear some uh, Jalisco coming up. That's right. But right now, we have Ruppetto School. This is really nice because they have a theme going on. It's the Influential Women in America. It's history in motion, Dina. Uh, and I love that the theme is the influential women in America. Go girls. The Repetto students are here portraying a number of famous and or influential women who have uh, contributed to America. And as they go by, 
Let's see if we can see who some of these women are. I got the chance to go to Philadelphia one time and uh, see the Justice Bell. We have Harriet Tubman here. I think they're doing a nice little presentation uh, for the judges right now, explaining about the influential women in history. And Repetto School is very close to Garfield. Garfield and Repetto. So it's a great, great school and looks like they're teaching their students well. Letting each um, of the parade participants uh, say their part on the microphone for the judges, which is a nice feeling that they all get to participate and, and be a part of a larger message. And it looks like we are representing women from a diverse background, which is great. We saw the Harriet Tubman, and uh, I see someone Military. holding up uh, mm -hmm, Amelia Earhart. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if that's Pocahontas. I think it's Sacagawea. I see uh, maybe Sally Ride, who may, may have been uh, an astronaut. I'm not really sure. And honoring women who serve in the military as well, which is great. Uh, I'm for a uh, woman president next, so I love this. That's right. That was fantastic. I'm really glad that they were here participating in the parade this year and uh, would love to have heard the live presentation, but the judges heard it. We'll see who gets the winning prize at the end. I think they should all win something. And now we have Rancho Jalisco. Next we have the brave and proud Chato or Mexican cowboys historically portrayed by the riders of Rancho Jalisco. The Chato loves to show off his skills of riding and roping in authentic Mexican style. The group has been riding together for 10 years. They would like to thank veterans for all they have done for our country. I think that's one of my first memories of Monterey Park, actually. My mom used to bring me to Barnes Park uh -huh. for Cinco de Mayo, and we used to sit and listen to the mariachi performances and watch the flamenco dancers. And I have a deep appreciation for, you know, Mexican culture and Hispanic heritage. And I, that's one of my uh, probably fondest memories of the city, sitting in the Barnes Park Bowl in the summers, eating snow cones, watching the mariachi Aww. performances. And now we hear, have them here at the Play Days Parade, because I don't think we have before. I don't remember the, them from last year. And it's beautiful, all the different types of costumes. And the dancing. Oh, the horses that are coming up next are putting on a little bit of a dance themselves.
horses are beautiful. We're seeing them at table level, so they really look amazing and beautiful and wonderful. Oh boy, and now we have another Monterey Park School, Hillcrest Elementary School. And they're in some really beautiful costumes this year too. Uh, another part of History in Motion. The Hillcrest Elementary School presents famous faces of the ancient world. Their members are proud to represent famous faces from three major ancient civilizations, Egypt, Greece, and Rome. They are dressed and they are speaking and acting as the characters they portray like Greek gods and goddesses, Egyptian gods and goddesses, Egyptian pharaohs and queens, and Roman emperors and leaders. It's nice to see Monterey Park schools bringing history to life. I love all the um, children that are represented in the parades, but even more so the support that they have on the sides of the streets. You can see their families looking on with pride, and they're so happy, which is, an, which is nice to see. It helps you know, bring everyone together. Yeah, we always say do good in school and do your homework, but uh, this is real support of uh, doing your homework because I know that parents must have helped with these exactly. costumes. Crafted them by mm -hmm. hand. Representing ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, ancient Rome. We've got some intricate face painting there and a, a nice uh, elaborate costume setup as well. <laughs> They're so happy. Look, you're on camera. <laughs> Up next, walking down Garvey Avenue, they're just prepping here in the corner of Garvey and Ramona, is the Norwalk All City Youth Band. And let's see as they get geared up to walk in front of the judges and put on their performance. Now, the Norwalk All City Youth Band was established in 1976 in honor of our nation's bicentennial. The Norwalk All City Youth Band are musical ambassadors for the city of Norwalk. They have traveled extensively throughout the United States, Canada, Mexico, and Europe, where they have won numerous awards. The group is under the direction of Frank Hinos, Debbie Martinez, and Deanna Dominguez. Please give a warm welcome to the city of Norwalk All City Youth Band.
Looks like we have some more history in motion. This might be the Monterey Highlands Elementary School. I think you're right. The Monterey Park, well, actually the Monterey Highlands Elementary School, eighth grade students, they're competing in the pageant of masters competition where their theme of activists for equality will be shown through live art and a comic strip. All these groups have really put a lot of time and effort into these projects of bringing history to life, history in motion. I'm so proud of them. I remember when we were in school, we used to have to do diorama projects. This is like a bringing a diorama to life, right? Right. I don't remember ever doing anything like this, though. I no, like it. It's like great. a little bit of theater and performance mixed in with history. And, um, school should be like that, more diverse. And again, they're doing a presentation for the judges that our cameras can't capture. But I know they're speaking about all the different activists that have helped us attain equality in America. Monterey Highlands Elementary School. I have a dream, Martin Luther King, equal rights, we're all created equal, unity. Oh, they have one of my favorite quotes, well-behaved uh, well women seldom, seldom make history. Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> All right, this is fantastic. And now we have Inez School and their participation. The students at Inez School are proud to march here today representing the signing of the Declaration of Independence. They have learned that this document has great significance to the American people because it led to our independence from England and King George III. The Declaration of Independence stated certain ideals that the colonists believed were essential to have, liberty and equality, and was a statement made in response to a series of laws passed by England known as the Intolerable Acts. These acts were a major cause of the American Revolution and were written to give England complete control of the original 13 colonies. The Tea Tax, the Stamp Act, and the Quartering Act, as well as the taxation of goods made in the colonies, kept the colonies from becoming self-sufficient. John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and Sons of Liberty were convinced that England was a tyrant and the colonists should throw off the shackles of oppression. Thus, the Declaration of Independence came to be. The following quote from the Declaration of Independence is proof of the rights of the colonists. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Without the words of our founding fathers, some of our civil rights that we enjoy may never have come to pass. That is why the Declaration of Independence is so significant to the students of Inez School. You know, Dina, when my daughter went to Brightwood Elementary, we took a field trip in the fifth grade. I got to chaperone as a parent. It was one of the greatest um, experiences that I've ever had because we went to Valley Forge. And the kids at like late at night reenacted this signing of uh, of the Declaration of Independence, and they just learned all about it. I mean, where it all really took place. And we went to New Jersey, and we went to New York in one day, and then back to Philadelphia, and saw how they all lived and exactly what they risked for the freedom that we all take for granted. It was so wonderful, and I wonder if the fifth grade students still get to take that trip because. Uh, it really was like this history in motion. Sure hope so. That's a great. Sounds like a great uh -huh. trip. And looks to me like they're they're gonna do it for us on camera. I'm so happy. You get to see the behind the scenes of it all. Here we go. The signing of the Declaration of Independence. Oh, this is beautiful. 
and their costumes are so great. Look at the how hair. they made the wigs and everything. With the old-fashioned uh, pen, ink, and feather. I appreciate the, uh, the gentleman here on the very front that's wearing the knee-high socks and the clogs as well. He really took the initiative and focused on his, uh, his outfit. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. We the people. So great, so wow, great. This is wonderful. I'm really loving it. History in motion. And now we have the Monterey Park Sports Club, the girls' fast pitch softball. Uh, representing the Monterey Park Sports Club this year are the three, let me see here, three-time ASA district champion girls' fast pitch softball team and the boys' pony baseball team. We got some champions coming down the street in their uniforms with their parents and their Banners. We got Team Dodgers. Always a favorite. Whoa, is Woo! that athletics? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Looks like they got excited by the Kung Fu presentation, not just baseball. Reminds me of my little boy that's now 30, but that, that was him at that age. <laughs> Oh, come on, look. Oh, looks like that's the end of the Monterey Park Play Days Parade this year. And Monterey Park is in its uh, 99th year. Happy birthday to Monterey Park. And again, hi, Dad. And I'm so glad you were here hosting again with me because... Uh, we always have fun. We always have fun. That's, that's right. right. And we look forward to next year, the Big 100, our centennial. And we hope everyone comes out and joins us again. And happy birthday, Monterey Park. Happy birthday and uh, a pleasure. Congratulations, Uncle Willie. And this was a fantastic parade. It was. See you next year. Bye-bye. Um, up next here, we have the Dana Middle School Marching Band from San Pedro, California. And since 2000, they were under the direction of Efren Nava. The group has earned numerous awards and honors, including a five-time sweepstakes winner at the Hawaiian Gardens Parade, sweepstakes winners at the 2011 and 2014 Burbank Parade on competition. Other sweepstakes awards were won at Carson, the city of Carson, uh, 2013 Peninsula Holiday Parade of Lights, and the 2014 Monterey Park Play Days Parade. So they were here last year with us. Welcome back. In 2012, Dana was the first middle school band to perform under the Chivas USA Band of the Game at the Stub Hub Center. This must have been an exciting performance for them. They are um, led by drum major Luke. This is a tough one. Um, Skol Gamillo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Assistant and drum major Alejandro Barlow. Drum drill team instructors Miss Suzanne Rodriguez, Shields, and tall flight coach Miss Marissa Maldonado, and drum line coach Mickey Zerleno. So there you see the drum major Luke performing and putting on his best um, performance for the judges. The uh, Dana Middle School. I was also performing at the Hollywood Christmas Parade in 2009, and they made their return appearance in 2012. They have performed 17 times at the Disneyland Resort as well, which is exciting. 